Okay, that cut off, and I'm not going to redo it, so I'm just going to pick off where I left off. Um, anyways, as I was saying, the example was that I, I had talked about it in a video, and she went back to another group and had made kind of a big deal about it. So clearly she disliked me. Do I dislike her? Um, no, I don't. I think she overreacted, and that's it. Um, do you consider wax friends real friends? Yes, I do. Some of them I do consider real friends. I talk to some on the phone, um, and some I plan on seeing when they come down to Rose Girls. So yes, I do. How do you feel when you lose a subscriber? I mean, it sucks. When someone leaves and you don't know why, it sucks. But it just makes me more thankful for those of you who stick around and actually continue to stick around no matter what. Why do you film where you film? I'm filming in the game room because, I don't know, it's just where I chose to film. I will be filming in my bedroom at some point. It's getting redone right now. Why haven't you done a stash video? Um, I feel like once you do a stash video, you get a lot more friends for the wrong reasons, and I'm just not going to do it. Some things are meant to be private, and for me, that's one of them. I love stash videos, but I'm not going to do one. Favorite music? Anything from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Pet peeves in the real world and the wax world. My pet peeve in the wax world is when someone attacks someone personally for disliking a vendor for the wrong reasons. Um, I've seen people attack vendors that they haven't ordered from without any behavior that's been, you know, anything but nice. If a vendor is acting um, crazy, I mean, that's different. But when a vendor hasn't said two words to you and you're continuously saying you don't like things about them, even though you've never placed an order, you've never really had any real interaction... I think that's just kind of shitty. Um, so that's a pet peeve. In the real world, it's people who say they have a pet peeve about something and then do it themselves. So if I talk about a vendor and it's a personal, I've had an experience or I've seen them treat someone badly. Favorite part of the wax community? There's a ton. For one, we get to talk about wax. For two, I've made some good friends. Three, they're very giving and I think that people are taking advantage of that right now, but that's definitely something I think that we all we all see and you know I think it's all up to us on who do we who we decide to to give to and not to which is why I ask people to okay it with me before they put up an auction there's auctions that have gone bad there are some that um, weren't legitimized and just stuff like that do I have a skincare routine yes I do I use Nerium um, day and night cream do you read books? Hundreds. I wish I could show you my phone, but I can't because I'm on it. I have hundreds and hundreds of books on my Kindles. I've read so many series that I literally forget what they're called, what they're about, so I can read them over and over again because I read so much. Favorite movie of all time? An Affair to Remember. I have a lot of favorite movies, but that is definitely um, one of my all-time favorites. Do you have a celebrity crush? Yes. Damon, who is Ian Summerhall from Vampire Diaries and Freddie Prince Jr., who is just hot, and I love it when he talks with his Boston accent. Favorite song today? Um, I mean, if I had to turn on the radio, I'd want to hear Royal, or whatever it's called. How does your boyfriend, husband, feel about your wax? He was okay with it before. He's starting to get a little bit annoyed. Um, I've got a lot. So he does tend to kind of groan when I have a new order come in. How long have you been into wax? Oh, about two years. Do you think you're mean? No, I don't. Do I think I've been mean? Sure. Do I think I'm a mean person? No, I think I'm an honest person, and a lot of people get that confused. Favorite YouTubers? Pretty much the same that I've had before. There's some new ones that I um, enjoy. Electric, or electric Buzz. She's not new. Um... Laura Brizno, if you guys haven't watched her, go ahead and type her in. She's fantastic. She's new, and she seems like she's been doing it forever. Really enjoy her videos. Um, old favorites are Addicted to Nail Polish, Electric Buzz. Oh, and my my favorite random things or my random favorite things, Sophia. You guys all know who I'm talking about. Um, 
but honestly, I like everybody I'm subscribed to. So if I'm subscribed to you, you're a favorite. Um, where am I? Oh. I had to write these all down. Pepsi or Coke? Um, Dr. Pepper or 7-Up when I do drink soda? Neither of those. I drink water, but definitely Pepsi or definitely Dr. Pepper or 7-Up. Favorite food? My favorite food is zucchini. I love it. It goes with everything. Yum. Do you plan on making wax? Absolutely not. Never, ever, ever. Do you test for vendors? What does it really consist of? Um, I have tested for vendors, and it depends on, on you, I guess. I personally will never do a something. I will never test for a vendor if it feels like a job to me. I put it in. I tell them how it throws, how long it lasted, what scents I got, and that's it. That's as much as I will do. I do it right away um, to get it done with, and I'm not going to write, you know, a 10-page essay on it. I'm just, I, I would not put that much effort into it. So if you're looking for someone to do that, I'm definitely not the right person for you. I will pop it in my warmer, see how long it lasts, how good the throw is, which warmer works best, and give you what I picked up on the sense, and that's it. Do you get discounts at Rose Girls? Not the first time I've been asked this. No, of course not. Jenny's very professional. I think we all get like a heart heart or something when we leave, and that's just everybody who shops there. Um, but no, I do not get discounts. Do you get ready every day or relax? Well, I relax every day because I'm a stay-at-home mom right now, and I do not get ready every day. In fact, I rarely wear makeup and do my hair. Um, it's usually up in a ponytail or like a messy bun, and makeup isn't something I feel like I need every day anyways. Do you have a career? Um, Kind of. I was a CNA for a long time. I stopped doing that because I wanted to stay home with my kids. But I am going to be getting back into work because my husband lost his benefits. And until he takes over the business, that's something that I will be doing. What's one thing you think you're most understood about? I think what people misunderstand about me the most is my sarcasm for one and my honesty for two. Everybody takes honesty for meanness, and I think that's kind of where the drama kicks in. If someone unsubscribes from you, do you unsubscribe from them? Um, I haven't yet. I unsus I only unsubscribe from people if I feel they have been... Well, that's not even true. I've been personally attacked by someone and I'm still subscribed to her. So, no, I don't. Any future plans for your channel if you decide to stay? Um, I don't... Dis I'm not going anywhere. I'm not sure where this is coming from. Please let me know um, down below why you think I'm leaving. But I plan on doing this in my bedroom once it gets finished in front of the camera. Do you like any vendors that most people don't? If so, who and why? Um, I do. I don't think that it's most people. I think it's some people. I like Happy Hippie. Why? Because Hope has always been really nice to me. Do I agree with what happened? No. I wasn't. I didn't see it then. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it went down, but I don't agree with the things that were said. But she is nice to me, and I like her wax. Can you share something personal? Um, yes, but I won't. I see a lot of people who go into too much detail about their life on YouTube and I seem to think that they forget or they seem to forget that they're on the internet and that these videos can be blasted anywhere. That's not something that I would do. I'm more than happy to answer questions if it's not too personal, but my personal life is just that. It is my personal life. So unless I decide to become a vlogger, which I won't, um, no, I, I'll share things that are you know exciting or new or different. But I'm not going to talk about my childhood or things I've done in the past because they're in the past and it's it's personal. So, um, again, I'm not sure what you really mean by that, but yeah. So that's it, guys. Sorry it was two videos. I just really didn't want to start all over. I wanted to get this done. If I missed anything, please let me know. If any of you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask down below and I will answer them if I feel they're appropriate questions. All right, guys. I will talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.